capital. And if you're hitting the road, there are a few spots in Jacksonville that even your phone may not know how to navigate. On your side, Zach Wilcox is live where I-95 merges onto I-10 West. This is near downtown. And Zach, that intersection could be kind of confusing for Thanksgiving drivers. Yeah, Heather, I, you know, I'm driving from story to story all the time, and this intersection gets me every single time trying to get on I-10 because I just can't understand what Google is trying to tell me to do. And you probably, if you're familiar with where I'm standing, you've probably been caught by it too. And if you do happen to get off on Stockton instead of giving off, getting onto I-10, you're greeted by a no U-turn sign so that you can't immediately undo your mistake and you got to go all the way around the block to get back on I-10. A travel mishap like this, navigation mishap, is the last thing you want when you're trying to get to Thanksgiving dinner. In half a mile, keep right at the fork. Drivers heading south on 95 to take I-10 out of town will come to exit 351C. Google Maps specifically tells you to keep right at the fork toward the exit. Keep right at the fork to continue on exit 351C. After finishing that step, Google Maps gives you about 400 feet to stay to the left. And if you don't get over quick, you'll wind up off I-10. Use the right lane to turn left onto Irene Street. FDOT, we, we create maps uh, to share with our with the map making partners. And we include that in press releases when, when we can, when it's available. FDOT spokesperson Hampton Ray says how quickly navigation apps update with the information FDOT provides can vary. Meanwhile, up at I-95 and the I-295 Beltway on the north side, drivers will find a massive construction zone. When driving west along I-295 and trying to get on I-95 south, Google Maps instructs drivers to stay to the left. In a quarter mile, keep left at the fork. Taking you right past the new exit ramp that swings under 295. Continue for three quarters of a mile. It has you drive about two extra miles down to Duval Road before turning around and coming all the way back to the south ramp. We always strive to encourage people to follow those pavement markings. Those are the ones that are applied directly to the asphalt. Uh, and as well as the overhead signs. While drivers around Thanksgiving may run into some navigation headaches, one thing they won't have to worry about, construction workers on some of the busiest roads. FDOT has halted all of its projects through Sunday. When you see folks out on the road this week, just use caution. Uh, be aware, everybody's trying to get where they need to go for Thanksgiving, so uh, just use some patience. I tell you guys what, I've been confounded by this ramp so many times that I reached out to Google to see if they could uh, update it at all. And they actually just messaged me back about an hour and a half ago and told me they have updated their navigation system. Could take a couple of days, but hopefully it won't have you go over so many lanes, only just to come back over so many lanes. So hopefully, as folks head back from Thanksgiving, that update will take effect. And it'll be one less headache for travelers to have to deal with here in Jacksonville, especially when they've got turkey tummy going on. On the west side, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.